Hi everyone, uh, welcome to this new video where I will talk about uh, how you can track a JavaScript uh, error within uh, Matomo Analytics. So before, I just want to uh, precise that actually I'm not a developer, so uh, basically uh, there's a lot of things that I do not entirely understand. And um, as well, uh, I'm not, let's say, like 100% sure that the techniques that I'm going to show you today are 100% uh, accurate. But uh, what I found out is that there were um, not much uh, information about how to track JavaScript error uh, within Matomo Analytics. And I really wanted actually to just show you what I discovered so far. So uh, I did not discover everything by myself. Actually, um, I'm really happy that uh, Lucas uh, Winkler uh, gave me a hand. So here's uh, Lucas. Uh, so Lucas uh, gave me a hand in order to understand a little bit uh, what's going on. Uh, before starting, the method that I will show within this um, within this tutorial is about how you can do it with Matomo Tag Manager. I won't cover it uh, with uh, Matomo Analytics in itself. And uh, yeah, so I suggest uh, that we get started and we'll just explain you what I uh, discovered so far. So uh, let's say that uh, you have uh, a website. Uh, so here it is, right? So you have uh, I mean, your uh, Matomo analytics running. And uh, when you create your tag, so that's uh, that's your tag. So in my case, that's a Matomo analytics, which is deployed on every pages of my website, which is uh, right here. Um, you have the possibility when you create a Matomo analytics tag to edit the Matomo uh, configuration. When you do so, it's going to create a variable that you can find up here. And uh, Yep, up here and here. Okay, here you have uh, one line that you can check, which is saying enable JavaScript error tracking. What I understood is that if you tick uh, this given uh, checkbox here, it will add to your Matomo tracking code um, the following function. So it's the pack push enable GS error tracking, which will go to true and then will be able actually to track uh, the given uh, JavaScript error. So this is uh, what you need to do if you would like actually to track JavaScript error. Uh, what it will do is actually it will uh, only uh, grab what we call the encode uh, JavaScript errors. And this is where I'm lacking of um, knowledge in terms of JavaScript, because from what I understood, encode JavaScript error does not mean, does not mean all the JavaScript error but only one kind of uh, JavaScript error. And if you add actually this line of code, uh, if you check this box, you don't have anything else to add, okay? It will be tracked as an event, as a, let's say, as a Matomo event. And uh, you don't have any extra layers of code to add or any triggers or anything like this. So I'm showing you actually this uh, way of tracking JavaScript error tracking because there is another way you can do it with Matomo Tag Manager. Uh, just to let you know as well that in the case of Matomo Tag Manager, it has been created after um, all the other Tag Manager players. So in the mind, I guess, of uh, Matomo's uh, community creators and Matomo uh, contributors, um, this function was uh, developed uh, before, let's say, the, the Tag Management, let's say, uh, era. And in their mind, actually, it had to be part, actually, of the Matomo Analytics Tracking Code and was, wasn't taught, actually, in order to uh, include it within the Tag Manager. So that's the reason why uh, you can yeah, easily um, enable it and disable it uh, straight away within, within the Tracking Code. I'm not sure if I'm 100% clear, but just to let you know that if you would like to track uh, the JavaScript error, all you need to do is actually to tick uh, this box out and it will add actually this uh, given line of code within the tracking code of Matomo in order to track the error. Um, it's interesting to see that actually you cannot uh, find any information about it uh, within the JavaScript tracking client. So uh, currently there's not that much documentation about uh, this specific uh, function. The only way you can get uh, some documentation about it is really by uh, looking through the source code of the GitHub project or say the source code of Matomo Analytics in order to know what this uh, function is doing. But so far, there's no FAQ. I mean, as far as I know, FAQ entries 
about how this uh, GS error tracking uh, is working. So, uh, okay, so here, as you can see, I enable it. So I'm just gonna go uh, here within tags. And what I will do is that I will uh, remove this one because I'm not interested in. Yep, so, so far I only have one tag. This tag is basic tag, which is fired on every pages on my website. And um, it has a specific configuration where the uh, checkbox is ticked. Uh, I'm gonna as well, um, Yes, I'm gonna as well, let's say, uh, remove the trigger. So, oops, I'm gonna remove all those, all trigger that I had. So one, two, yes, and three. Okay, hold on, perfect. I'm just gonna, let's say, publish my work back. So I'm just gonna say nine, for example, and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna publish it, right? I'm going to use as well the preview mode just in order for you to see uh, what's going on. So, so far, what do I have? I have a tag which is tracking actually error, uh, error JavaScript code, and, uh, and that's it. So, I'm going to do like CTRL F5, and what I can see here is that uh, nothing is happening. Um, I have my page view which is uh, which is loaded and if I look actually at my visitor log and that I refresh my page so we are on the 10th, 10th, all good. Uh, if I look at the visitor log I will see that uh, no event are registered. And that's kind of a pity because if I uh, look and inspect the element and if I look at the console I will see that I actually I have one uh, error type, which is type error. Uh, this clear board is not a function, so I just copy and paste from uh, something else. And I have another error, which is syntax error string literal contains an escape line break. So actually, that's not working. Okay. Um, what I discovered is that actually, if I do exactly the same thing, but under Chromium, so I'm going to do it uh, right now. I'm just going to uh, sit here, left five. So um, as you can see, nothing is happening over here, right? Then um, that's normal because I just have my trigger, which is a page view. And if I inspect uh, the element, and if I look at the console, I still have actually uh, those uh, those two. And yes, and I have as well an uncode type error and something, right? And if I look at uh, now at my visitor log, I can see that actually there's a JavaScript uh, errors uh, which has been registered. Uh, it's telling me actually um, more information about it. And um, and yeah, so it's registering as an event. And here it's telling me as well, if I go, uh, maybe I can go over here, I will get more information about this specific event. No, do I? Okay, so uh, by chance, I guess it's a bit faster and I can grab it as an event straight away. Let's see what it says. Okay, uh, so in my case, that's the following one. So I'm just going to click on it. Okay, and event names. So here it's telling me uh, this clear board is not a function. So that's, that's the one I'm interested in. So, as you can see, it's only taking a part of the error, and it seems that actually it's not uh, working uh, under Firefox, only on Chrome. So um, I have no idea why, and actually I'm just gonna do something else. Oops, if I go over here, and if I, if I click uh, over here, let's see if it's triggering as well. So. Oh, great. Uh, actually, it works as well on Firefox. Ah, interesting. OK, it works as well on Firefox, just that I needed to interact uh, with my browser in order to um, in order to track it. So either on Firefox or either on Google Chrome, it's working out. It's just that I have no idea uh, why it's not tracking, let's say, all the error, but just one kind of, uh, one kind of error. OK, that's the first way that you can track actually JavaScript errors. This is by using, by ticking 
uh, the small box that I show you. There's another way you can do it uh, with the tag manager, and that's the second uh, method I'm going to show you is about, let's say, instead of taking the Matomo configuration JS, you take the Matomo configuration, and within the Matomo configuration, I can show it to you uh, right now. I can update it. Yep, if I go here under variables, you will see that um, nothing is happening here, right? So I have, yeah, it's unchecked. Okay, uh, and what you can do is actually you can create a new tag. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to create a new tag. I'm going to say, hey, I want my new tag, and this is uh, JS something, right? So I'm just going to do like Matomo Analytics, and it's going to be JS. Okay, uh, Matomo's configuration, that's still the same. Uh, this time it's an event, and then as an event category, I can just here uh, pick up the different variables. So that's normally the regular way that analyst uh, will go in order to track uh, JavaScript error. In my case, uh, just in order to recognize it, I'm just gonna push everything uh, within the same within the same line. So yeah, um, so history do do do. Oh, did I errors? Okay, error messages and. Let's see. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to just put here some random figures and let's go for here. And here uh, you can create a new trigger, and this trigger this time is going to be uh, JavaScript. And it's going to be a JavaScript error, so I'm just going to create it. And as usual, I'm just going to publish it, right? So create a new tag. And I just publish it and say happy because it's going to work. Yep. And I'm going to publish it. I'm going to use as well the preview and debug. Okay. Okay. All good. Uh, so now what I can do is I can do CTRLF5. And here, as you can see, uh, as you can see up here, uh, nothing is happening, but I guess now that I figured it out. So if I click, I guess the JavaScript uh, will react. Oh, okay, it react, and I get the JavaScript errors, and then it's working out. And uh, if I look at the visitor log, I got actually my um, my famous event, which is uh, fired. So um, yes, uh, that's it uh, for today. So as I previously said, it's kind of uh, not like the perfect video, right? I do not understand everything which is going uh, behind, but just to let you know that this tracking code works out. It's just, I guess, that you need to find a way of, um, let's say, uh, understand how to collect, let's say, all the JavaScript errors if it's possible. Why do you need to do one click as I'm doing in order to have the JavaScript um, tag uh, firing and recording it? Uh, seems that actually it's working finally fine on both the browser, either Firefox, either uh, Google Chrome. Uh, you can use it either by ticking it, uh, the, the box, the checkbox uh, within the, the Matomo configuration variable, or either to use it uh, within the tag manager. Um, if you are a developer and if you would like to know how it's working um, uh, behind the engine, uh, feel free actually to just go straight to GitHub and look at uh, what this feature is doing. Uh, hope it helps a little bit. Uh, I'm sorry if it's not 100% perfect. And, uh, and yeah, hope that it helps you solve a little bit about uh, the problem you are facing with uh, this given tracking code. Thanks for watching.